Hello everyone and welcome to HD Piano. My name is JC and today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Chariot by Gavin DeGraw. In this section I'm going to show you how to play the intro and verse 1 and those sections sound a little something like this. One, two. friends so that was the intro and verse one I'm going to give you that throughout this entire video here but to get part two and the rest of the sections for this song you're going to want to head over to hdpiano.com where you can find this and hundreds of other great piano lessons that are available to you right now now before we dig into the uh, tutorial section I, I want to ask you guys a quick question this song was released in 2005. Now for me personally, that was uh, first year out of high school, right into college, first year of college. So this is like a special era in my life. So when I hear this song, Chariot, it just kind of takes me back. You know, the sights, the sounds, the smells, everything about that era all comes flooding back in my mind whenever I hear this song. So I wanted to ask you guys, what part of your life does this take you back to? Where, where were you in life when this song was popular. Drop a comment in the comment section below the video. We'd love to hear from you guys, hear your thoughts about the era of your life the song was popular in. All right, gang, now before we dig in, I want to do a couple of house uh, housekeeping items. First of all, this intro is starting in E minor, which is the same key signature as G major, so we've got one sharp and it's F sharp. Okay, F sharp is the only sharp we're dealing with. And uh, this is middle C on my keyboard, and we're kind of working right around that area because this first phrase is just above middle C, okay? Now let me give you that first phrase on the intro. It goes like this. Two. Okay? So that starts with a single E just above middle C here, and then you move up to these two notes up top, B and E. But before you play that B, you slip down from this B flat called a grace note. So you're going to grab B flat and E, and then just kind of let the weight of your hand and arm pull you down and land on that B. So just practice that a couple of times until it feels natural to you. And then after that, you've got A and E, and you're going to play it twice. Bum, bum. And then you're going to end that little phrase with G and E. And I like to cross my hand over it. It feels pretty comfortable. Instead of trying to jump from here to here, I might miss. and hit the wrong note or something, that would sound bad. So, cross over again. All right, so one, two, three, four. Okay, two and, or excuse me, three and four E and, uh, okay. And then after that, you have this. Let's break that apart. Now, uh, after this phrase, we got this nice lower E happening just below middle C with our left hand. So the good thing to do would be play that phrase and have this hand ready to play that E. Okay, with whatever finger you want. All right. Then after that, we move into. So both hands are playing the exact same notes an octave apart. Okay, this one above middle C and this one below middle C. And the, way, the best way to think of this is two sets of three notes. The first set is E, G, and A, and the second set is E, G, and B. So E, G, and A, and E, G, and B. And then of course, as you know, the rhythm is ba-ba-ba. All right, so you're gonna play that bass note there with your left hand and then let off of it and start your phrase. And now to wrap up that first little line of the intro, you're going to go. So it just 
just starts with the same three notes that you began with before, E, G, and A, and then it plays this. So that's A, A, um, and then B, A, G, E. Let's do that slow. Okay, so the whole phrase. second half of the intro starts out exactly the same, but it ends a little differently. Okay, so the last phrase at the ending is the first three notes again, E, G, and A, and then for the first time you're going to play two notes in one hand. In the right hand you're going to play F sharp and A, whatever fingers you like. I like to grab that so that I can play my forefinger on the B, but so, ba -ba and then two notes, F sharp and A. A in the left hand, and then back to single note each hand. So when you play that chord, which is a D major, you get your A, F sharp, and A, and then B's in both hands, and G's in both hands. So let's do the entire intro in slow motion, and you can pause and rewind, watch it as many times as you need to until, you know, these notes feel really comfortable in your hands. Here we go. One, two. That's the entire intro. All right, and right away, verse one starts with this E minor chord in the right hand, and then it goes to C. So let's, let me give you the chords for the first uh, four bars of the verse. So it's E minor with B on the bottom, B, E, and G. And then C major, middle C on the bottom. G major with B on the bottom, so B, D, and G, and then D, which is A, D, and F sharp, and then it repeats uh, the first three chords again, so E minor, C, G, but then the fourth chord, it's different, A major, so C sharp, E, and A, okay, so that's the first four bars, one, two, three, four, one, two, Our left hand, watch the left hand. Okay, so the pattern is we play on one, two, and three, and four, and okay, one, two, and all right, so the first bar, it's E and C. So E on beat one and on the end of two, and then C on beat three and the end of four. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and, okay? One, and two, and three, and four, and. All right, and then the next bar, G and D. One, and two, and three, and four, and. Now on the end of four, we move down to A this time. One, and two, you want to grab that A with at least your three finger, maybe even your two finger, so that you can reach down and grab the E on the next bar. So, watch my left hand. Okay, now in this bar, it's E and then C. So, one and two and three and four and again. One and two and three. that you've got G and A one and two and three now this time this A is a half note so you just hold it the rest of the bar all through beat four uh, excuse me all through beat three and all through beat four so one and two and three and four and okay so those four bars hands together we'll go slowly here we go two three four one Right? 
And now the next uh, four bars is going to basically repeat that exact same thing without the A major. So then second time through, and we're an octave lower starting the E minor. So E down here, up to the C, G, D, and then the same notes. go back to this G but we don't move up to the A major this is actually this when we go to this G major the second time so in the second half of the verse it's gonna be just a 2-4 bar meaning the bar is half the time so we're going one one and two and three and four and one two and three and four and one and two and one so so that bar only gets two beats that's the second time through now this time we move up to the A major we're gonna break it up. Our right hand's gonna go one and two and three and four and. So that's C sharp and A, and on the end of each beat, you play the A by itself. C sharp and E, not A. C sharp and E, and on the end of each beat, you move down to the A. One and two and three and four and. And then our left hand, we just play that A all four beats. left hand keeps doing the same thing and we change our notes in the right hand we move down to C natural and E flat so this is an A minor seven chord with a flat five don't worry if you don't know what that means sometimes I don't know what it means either <laughs> so C natural and E flat one and two and three and four and okay so one two So, let me give you that whole second half of the chorus. One, first, excuse me. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. And one, two, and three, and four. And one, and two, and one, two, three, four. One, two, and three, and four. And okay, and remember, we drive the left hand with... with um, quarter notes. I was just kind of focusing on those right hand chords. Let me talk to you about that. The reason this is an A minor 7 chord is because here's an A minor 7. It's just A minor with a G on top. Uh, we're not actually playing the G. Um, but we're flatting the fifth, one, two, three, four, five. The fifth note, we're making it flat. So it's A minor 7, flat 5. That's the, the theory behind it. Some people enjoy that. Some people are bored by it. So 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 So I'm going to give you the entire verse kind of in slow motion. We'll put all these, um, these, two, these two sections of the verse together and uh, give you some context. Here we go. So let me give you the intro and the verse together. Hey, congratulations, by the way, for making it this far. You, you know the most popular part of the song now, and you've kind of got that hook that everyone knows. So let me go back to the beginning. At tempo, here's the intro and first verse. Here we go. One, two. That brings us to the end of the intro and the first verse. And I uh, would love to see you over in part two where we're going to learn the chorus. Listen, if you've enjoyed this video, we hope that you'll subscribe to the channel. Click that like button. Drop us a comment below. Come find us over on social media. We love to connect with you guys. And it's been a lot of fun today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you over at hdpiano.com, home of the hybrid piano lesson. Bye-bye for now.